There are a couple of years left before the new movie of Pirates of the Caribbean is released. Still, it seems that the legal issue of Johnny Depp and all the commotion it's caused among the Hollywood community and the fans have put the main actors in the discussion of the franchise. The most important, for now, is Orlando Bloom, who plays the handsome pirate Will Turner in all installments of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. However, it seems that the legal issue with Johnny, the friendship he has with the actor, the social pressure that has been generated around the franchise, around Disney, and the legal dispute that Johnny Depp had against his ex-wife Amber Heard has caused several actors to condition their appearance in the new Disney movie. Do you want to get all the details? Don't miss a second of this video. Fans are curious as to what impact Johnny Depp's defamation case against Amber Heard had on the actor's relationships with other celebrities. Regarding the wife-beater allegations, Keanu Reeves has expressed his skepticism. The Pirates of the Caribbean actors, on the other hand, only had positive things to say about Depp. Orlando Bloom, one of the actor's close friends from the cast, has also expressed sympathy for the actor's highly publicized existence. How close are Orlando Bloom and Johnny Depp? Since their time spent together on Pirates of the Caribbean, Depp and Bloom have become close friends. Despite facing criticism for his portrayal of Will Turner, the latter enjoyed himself as the straight guy to the former's famous figure, Jack Sparrow. Nobody steps out of the door or onto a set, whoever you are, whether you're an actor, director, or producer. Nobody is trying to do bad work. Bloom recalled the incident to The Hollywood Reporter. I know when I put my head down at night, I've done my best with everything that I've ever done. I've always given it my all, and I think, in a way, if anything, there was a lot of safe play in my career. I'm not really interested in that anymore, so I can see how, I mean, for Will, for example, I was playing the straight guy to Johnny's remarkable Jack Sparrow, but it's not easy to pull that straight guy off. Do you know what I mean?" The Lord of the Rings star continued, "...in a way, it was the emotional thread, that relationship between Elizabeth and Will, but I don't look back with anything. I just look forward with excitement, to be honest, now." He acknowledged that Depp is one of his heroes in a different interview with BBC. It was just the most fun I've ever had, Bloom said of working with the Edward Scissorhands star in 2003's The Curse of the Black Pearl. I got to work with one of my heroes, Johnny Depp, and to see how he goes about business, which was really inspiring for me at this stage in my career. He also raved about Depp's dedication to his craft. I knew he'd bring something unique to it the way he always does with his roles. I just didn't know what it would be when I saw it. It was fantastic," he added. For me, as a young actor, to see somebody like Johnny who creates a character from nothing, it's great. Additionally, there was a moment when Depp flew them in his private plane alongside Pirates director Jerry Bruckheimer. Before they met with Keith Mitchell, the Prime Minister of the Caribbean, things were a little weird. Jerry was up at the front of the plane with his wife, and me and Johnny and Johnny's friend Sam were at the back of the plane, and we sat there and drank red wine," Bloom recalled. I don't know, maybe the altitude had something to do with it? But when we got to the island, we just like crawled off the plane, staggering. The Prime Minister was there to meet us, and he goes, Hey man, very pleased to introduce you to St. Vincent, the actor continued. Johnny's friend crawled past him and didn't even stop. Johnny gave him a huge hug and kept kissing him. And there's me, trailing after Johnny, picking up all the stuff he kept dropping. It was crazy. Because of their close relationship, Bloom once played Depp in an extras episode with Ricky Gervais. In the comedy, he claimed that while Depp was filming Pirates, the birds ignored him and proceeded to find Bloom in his place. "'Ooh, look at me! I make art house movies! Ooh, I've got scissors for hands!' Bloom said, trolling his friend. What does Orlando Bloom think about the Amber Heard scandal involving Johnny Depp? Depp came under intense scrutiny in 2017 when the fifth film of the Pirates franchise was being released. On the promotional tour, Bloom did, however, show sympathy for the actor. The man that I know and love is the man who's here tonight, and he's like on forum and does everything the right way. He told people at the time, you know, people go through all kinds of weird stuff in the world, and it's just a shame that it has to be dragged out in public. Because God knows, he's been one of the most private and stand-up people I've ever met. Of course, the friendship between Johnny and Orlando would go further. Well, as soon as the trial between Johnny Depp and his ex-wife Amber Heard ended, Orlando was the first to mention that if Disney did not hire Johnny back, he, Orlando Bloom, would not be willing to participate in the movie either. You're claiming that due to Amber's allegations of abuse, you can't be in Pirate 6, correct? Um, I, I'm, I'm saying that after everything had uh, um, basically hit its media targets, 
and the hit pieces kept coming, it would be, I mean, I would be a real simpleton to not think that there was an effect on my career based on Ms. Hurd's. Although there are still a few years left to see the fifth Pirates of the Caribbean movie, the return of one of the most beloved characters in the franchise has already been confirmed. And unless Disney makes amends with Depp and returns his starring role, Bloom is not on that list of actors returning to the saga. Its premiere is scheduled for 2024, but everything could change. What about Johnny, then? Johnny Depp has had a very difficult couple of weeks. He was defending himself against ex-wife Amber Heard in a defamation lawsuit. The actor has been working to revive his career after winning the $50 million slander case. A new report claims that Disney has apologized to the actor and extended a substantial offer for him to reprise his role as Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean. Five distinct episodes of the well-known film series feature Johnny as Jack Sparrow. Disney has apologized to Johnny, according to the Australian pop culture rumor website poptopic.com. A source close to the publication said, I know corporate sent him a gift basket with a very heartfelt letter, but I'm unsure how it was received. But what I can tell you is that the studio has already penned up a draft for a film about Jack Sparrow, so they are very hopeful that Johnny will forgive them and return as his iconic character. However, neither the actor nor his crew has made an official statement confirming the same. In reality, the claim seems dubious because Disney's offer is about to equal what Johnny Depp stated during the slander lawsuit. For those who are unaware, Johnny had previously stated that he would not reprise his role as Jack Sparrow in Pirates of the Caribbean, even if he were offered a whopping $301 million. On the set of The Rum Diary in 2009, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard crossed paths and soon after began dating. They tied the knot in 2015. Amber Heard was seeing photographer Tazia Van Rie at the time, while Johnny Depp was committed to French actress Vanessa Paradis. The two started dating in secret in 2011 after parting ways with their respective ex-partners. In 2015, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard got married. When a photo of the actress wearing an elaborate engagement ring surfaced, the news went viral. On Depp's own island in the Bahamas, they were wed in 2015 in a very secret ceremony. In 2016, however, Heard requested a divorce, alleging that Depp had physically mistreated her while he was inebriated during their marriage. Heard was, quote, trying to secure a premature financial resolution by alleging abuse, according to Depp, who refuted the claims. 2017 saw the completion of their divorce. Because of an opinion piece Amber Heard published in the Washington Post in 2018, Johnny Depp later sued her for defamation. A jury found in Johnny Depp's favor earlier this month. Additionally, they mandated that Amber Heard pay $10.35 million in penalties. So what do you think? Do you think Disney should publicly apologize? Or do you think getting fired had nothing to do with what Amber said? Leave us your comments and theories below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos on your favorite celebrities.